Well, hello, uh, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to explain something here. I don't know if this thing is a new thing or not, if this has been done before or is this a completely new thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, hack a database, an SQLI database and uh, there I have some usernames, some uh, passwords. Of course, they are all encrypted and there is an initialization vectors there are secrets there are salts but still how this is possible I don't know I just found out today you know just an hour ago so I wanted to share this and you know upload it to YouTube so if I just start I will just go as Qlite browser um, so j let's j j let's just suppose that we uh, went on a friend's house and we stole a database file that was lying on his computer or we hacked someone's computer where there was a database file and we just found it what we did we copied it and did nothing so when we come to our home uh, we open the database so it looks like this uh, let me just start it start this out so here it is um, if we see that there are this is a database of course there are four tables right secrets uh, SQLite sequence this is a default database that a default table that gets created every time uh, uh, we use SQLite databases and we uh, make tables anyways so there are user info and vector so basically there are three user tables that uh, a user made in this case I made this but let's just suppose I didn't so uh, let's just let's just check the data out so so first of all this is there's a table called vector which is uh, supposed to be the initialization vector so we can see that uh, there is only one entry here the primary key for which is one and in this part this is blob right there is no data so if we just um, so where can I found, uh, find what the data is yeah right so if we see what this blob means it's basically giving us a binary data which we cannot convert and if we do we get some garbage data that we cannot make an use of so I did something experimental which did some get something to me where it was not very likely that I liked it so let's go over to the secret table and there is as well there is only one entry where the primary key is one and there is this blob which has nothing right so you can see the conversion for this binary to ASCII is this garbage text which means nothing so let me just open up Python for a second uh, I know that this file is in desktop and let me just say I know this password what this secret or what the initialization vector in this uh, table means but let's just act that I don't because I, I literally don't the initialization vector is a byte code and I do not know what it is and I know the secret which is going to be the main password for this program I wrote so I don't know the password just because I cannot see right I know it but I am just going to act that I don't so let me just let me just open up Python here um, yeah so if I just okay what's the problem with PowerShell let's just open it again okay what's wrong with PowerShell yeah so let's just open up Python we will just import the modules which is PyCrypto so let's just open up the modules so from crypto.cypher import AES from um, crypto.hash import SHA256 right great and also from uh, no okay import SQLite 3 so just I do not as, as I just said that I do not know any of these values right because they all are giving me some garbage data which I don't make any sense of so what I'm going to do here is make an SQL query so I'll just check for if the table or uh, if the database already exists so connection maybe equals SQLite 3.connect 
and my name of the database is um, DB right so let's get going on this uh, DB let's see if it throws an error it doesn't throw an error which means it got this DB right now so just let me make a cursor for SQLite uh, just na let's name it C equals to connect dot cursor and I'm done here and now I'll just go and query the tables so what are the names of the tables okay let's let's first go with the secret right so the field is master pass master underscore underscore pass and the table name is secret so we are just going to do SQLite no okay sorry C dot execute select master pass from secret right okay just to give it a variable maybe a okay print okay it uh, I have to just have, uh, do the fetch one function so a dot fetch one and here I'm going to give uh, an a value of zero because I just want the first element or it will give us a commas which I don't want so okay this is the key right I do not know what the key is I do not because this is a I don't know what kind of I guess it's a hex uh, no it's a byte see uh, the starting of this uh, sentence is starting with B and with a single quote so this means byte so I do not know what the meaning of these sentences I do not know the password the the crazy thing about what I'm going to demonstrate is I do not have to it just works like a pass the hash uh, attack on Windows computers uh, which used to be there uh, in Metasploit so anyways so I'm just going to copy it and make a notepad file yep notepad and just say that the key is there is no use of brute force there is no need to use brute force I do not know why this works till now I just find it out I just found it out as I just said so I just got the key right now let's go and query the other fields for example the vector so C dot execute um, select uh, IV from vector and let's again give this a variable maybe this time it's also going to be a because I'm just going to store them in notepad a dot fetch one and again the zero element or the first element which is going to be this so this is the initialization vector right I do not even have to know what their real values are I just I'm just going to work with a byte version of these and the last one which is remaining is at the actual password which is in the user info tables which is this this value right it's giving us uh, another value basically so, oh, no, it means nothing so let's just query again c dot execute again select um, pass w from user info where id equals 3 right okay I just forgot to give a variable so let's do it again a and a dot fetch one again the first element is going to be this one so let's get going with these so the key is there the initialization vector is there and finally the message is this one okay so let me just go on and make three variables right just let's just copy and paste this so the key being this uh, sentence the IV being this and the message being this so now we will make uh, an object an AES object which we are going to use the decryption from so maybe DEC equals um, AES dot new here okay this mode is a CBC mode or the code blockchain AES mode because you can see there is a use of initialization vector explicitly so this is a CBC I just guessed it and I, because I wrote the program I also know 
that I have used CBC, but it's just a matter of time that someone guesses it out. So AS dot new. The key is going to be this key. This key represents this one. I guess you know Python by now. So then the mode is going to be AES dot mode. So what am I writing? CBC. And lastly, the initialization vector in the oh, the initialization vector is going to be IV. So I guess okay, no errors are thrown, which means the object has been created. Now what we are going to do is results equal to DEC dot decrypt. <clears throat> and now the, we will give out the message. So okay, no er errors are thrown, which means it worked, right? Now if I print out this variable you are going to be astonished by what it does so if I do print res see it's giving me the password how much worse is that whatsapp uses SQLite okay it also encrypts the database in the crypt 12 uh, I guess now it's uh, more advanced but the last time I knew it was crypt 12 uh, all the mobile applications mostly use SQLite as their database and I also these are all hashed values right I didn't have to even know the password for this and by the way these things are padding units which you do not need to worry about it's uh, it's like actually the password was one two three if you just convert it for example res dot if I do print the actual password here is red dot decode and utf8 this is going to be the a plain text version of it and if I subtract these uh, parentheses out of this one two three is being the real password so this one two three could have been anything it could have been a big 20 letter password which we could see in plain text I didn't know this uh, one hour ago uh, I was crazy to watch this happen because there is no use of encryption or decryption or any security measures here because I have hashed the passwords the passwords were encrypted what I just needed was the DB file or the, the, the database file the raw database file did everything for me I didn't have to do anything so I guess this is a kind of proof of concept video that I just hacked a database file by just running some SQL a plain SQL commands I am I was actually astonished on this part that why does this hash the key hash directly works on the decryption object I don't know about this this should have been different this should have been difficult this should have been different but it still works I don't know why maybe I, I did something wrong in programming this software but I don't know because there are only two options for example when you do an encryption or when you hash an object for example if I just do uh, ha for example a dot a equals SHA 256 dot new and maybe give something like ABC dot encode what having okay ABC uh, UTF-8 and then here I can only use two options one of them is going to be digest and another is hex digest so I don't know if doing hex digest would have been any different but what I just came to know is if we just save this database in our computer locally anyone having a little knowledge of Python and SQL could steal this database file and hack into it like it was nothing so this uh, by the way this was 256 bit encryption what you just experienced here is 256 bit AES code blockchain mode encryption and this broke like I don't know it broke like thin glass so that's it that's going to be the video for today I hope that uh, this is something new maybe I don't know and also this is a video where new programmers like me can avert themselves about how insecure programming looks like maybe I could have done something better so now as I know how it works maybe I would do something better so until then goodbye great learning have 
a great day.